Hi, Kevin. Hello. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Why did you decide to work in the film industry? Why did I decide? I think I was inspired by movies like Star Wars and American Werewolf in London and Blade Runner and The Dark Crystal and uh, all sorts of creature effects movies. So I wanted to uh, get a degree in film and move out to Los Angeles and work in special effects. Please introduce your very interesting friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Haunted Swordsman and he is a puppet uh, who is the lead character in my short film, The Haunted Swordsman. And uh, it's going to be playing in festivals worldwide in the next few months. What is your favorite project you worked on? In my whole career, I would say my favorite projects were the first Jurassic Park. Um, I was new to Los Angeles and I had a job at Stan Winston Studio and uh, I was given the chance to work on the movie for a whole year and then I went to set and puppeteered on the, uh, the baby raptor hatching out of the egg. So I worked on that and, uh, and then after that um, I think um, King Kong over in New Zealand I got to go work on that Peter Jackson film and so I was there for a whole year on King Kong and, uh, and then all the projects at Spectral Motion like Hellboy and uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. Tell me more about your third puppet film, The Haunted uh, Swordsman. Uh, Haunted Swordsman is a 15-minute um, long samurai ghost story action film with lots of creatures and um, puppets and um, I've had full-size actors in costumes attacking puppets and there's all sorts of um, camera effects in it and it's inspired by samurai movies like The Seven Samurai and Lone Wolf and Cub and also anime um, like uh, there's an anime called Ninja Scroll that was a big inspiration and I just always wanted to make a samurai movie so I decided to make a samurai puppet film. Will your new film uh, win the Academy Award? Any Oscars for you? <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Um, the thing about the Oscars is that um, puppetry, live action puppetry films like this are not recognized as, they're not animated and they, they're not quite live action. They fall between animation and live action. So um, it's a tougher sell for the Academy to recognize this as, as a non-animated puppet film. But hopefully. I wish you good, good luck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you thank deserve you. Oscar. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, what does your family mean to you? My family? Oh, they're wonderful. I have an older brother and a younger sister. And uh, my older brother works in the film business. He's in Singapore. And my younger sister is, lives in Boston and is a CrossFit trainer. And um, I have wonderful parents that supported me um, as I started to get into filmmaking and they, they encouraged me to move out west and uh, follow my dreams out here. Amazing. Your idea of happiness? Oh, my idea of happiness is traveling somewhere very far away with my wife and seeing parts of the, the world that we've never seen and, uh, and continuing to make puppet films. Your dream project? Oh, well, I hopefully I would be able to continue with Haunted Swordsman and make more of them or uh, get a bigger budget to do a, another puppet uh, feature. Uh, the Aviator, Blade Trinity, Hellboy and more than 100 other movies uh, you worked on. Which is your favorite? I would say uh, Jurassic Park, the first one, was the most meaningful because I learned the most in a short amount of time and I, um, I'm still friends 25 years later with, uh, with the people that were on that film and, uh, um, but, uh, and then I would say my short films that I, I do myself are, are probably my favorite to work on. Your favorite puppet hero and why? <laughs> oh, that's easy. Jim, Jim Henson is one of my favorites and Frank Oz, um, just their um, their love of puppetry and their talent and uh, I'm so inspired by all of their work.
Your favorite word. My favorite word. Um, oh, <laughs> I think it's um, harrowing. I love that word. It's it's like terrifying, harrowing. It just sounds <laughs> so good. I, I love uh, scary things, and that's. I was just thinking about that the other day. Do you like my accent? Yes, you have an incredible accent. It's uh, incredible. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.